So in this video, we're going to look at some of the vocabulary that you use with bearings. We're going to look at a roller bearing. What we're going to look at are the components of a bearing. But first, let's just watch this short video that will explain how and why a bearing is used. And then we'll explain the vocabulary for the bearing. The center part of a wheel on a car is called a hub. The wheel spins smoothly because the hub has bearings inside it. Bearings reduce friction, which is a force that resists motion. A common type of bearing has tiny steel balls that allow the hub to roll around the axle instead of rubbing against it. Rolling produces less friction than rubbing, so having bearings in the hub will make it easier to start spinning and keep it spinning. A bearing is a part of a machine, and the parts that are within the bearing we call components. Sometimes in English, people refer to things as component parts. So, let's have a look at our full bearing and the parts. First, you've got these. These are the seals, sometimes known as the shields. Then you've got an inner and an outer shield. The next part that we have is called the outer ring or the outer raceway. I know it as the outer race. The next part is the rolling parts. In this case, it's the balls, so we call ball bearings. And the ball bearings fit into a thing called a cage to keep them spaced equally as movement happens. And the last part of the bearing is the inner ring or inner raceway. Again, this is an exploded view. This is where you can see each of the separate parts or components individually. And you can see how they also uh, are assembled or joined together to make the whole. 